Hello and welcome to part 86 of my Soul Silver walkthrough. Last time I left you all with a cliffhanger. yells in them all the time, and it kind of makes it hard to like his videos, and even though they're of decent quality, he just yells non-stop, so even though I enjoy his videos because he always yells, I dislike his videos on YouTube. Nice. I'll face him later. Why not face him now? I can get Dragonair to be level 43. Level 42. To be able to withstand hits and all. Now, I have no way of directly paralyzing it. So I'm gonna have to do a few resets until I can get a paralysis hit. I guess. Nice. Oh, that's a guess. Nice. Now I don't have to do that later. Hey, this is the pool from earlier. I think it's actually possible to get Dragonairs in that pool. So for anyone who just wants a Dragonair immediately around like level 30-ish, go for it. Here we are again, at the end of the route. So... Yeah, the little sign to the very left of that, like, that was, was here, was the entrance to Dark Cave. Okay, so... What I'm gonna be doing now is getting that one last item I missed earlier. But I don't need to get it yet. I just really want a Dragonite. I'm for my Heart Gold team. Ooh, 
Traveler. Let's see. Just for the worst thing to say. Ironically enough, when it comes to facing Lugia, I don't think I'll be using my toughest Pokemon, Typhlosion. Merely because it is a fire type. And a fire type will not survive an attack from a Pokemon that knows Hyper Pump and Rain Dance. That's just not gonna happen. What the? Ah, oh, Wild Graveler. Actually, no, not in the two videos. Just another video and I'll be done with this. And I'll do the Safari route. Right? And then... Saturday. Because today's the 15th of April. Saturday, I think. I think I'll do... Lugia! I plan by the end of vacation to at least get to Victory Road. So, I think I'm very close to just getting all the combinations and such. For this place. And all the items and things like that. What the? And so again, at the very end of the route. Actually, you know what? Not even too, not even another video. I might be able to do it now, and then I can do what I can for routes 47 and 48. Oh no, wait. So routes 45 and 46 are no longer the last routes in Johto. Heart gold, soul silver have introduced Roots 47 and 48. So, correction on what I said earlier. Unlikely. What the? Cool, it's unlikely that I'll be beating this route in two and a half minutes, but. What the? I know Lugia will have extra sensory rain dance and hydro pump, but oh, an arrow blast. There we go. I know it's a moveset. So basically, Empoleon is incredibly useful. Too bad I can't have it with me. Because I'm only using Pokemon from the Johto region in this walkthrough without cheating. I think that's everything for these two routes. I don't think I've missed anything, but if I have, please feel free to tell me. It's all that remains, if my memory um, is correct, all that remains is Mr. Mr. here. See you all in part 86. Bye bye.